Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and I'm back with the update that I promised in my last video. Um, so you can see from the title that I got kind of crazy news, so I'll get into that in a second. Um, when I last left off, I just had my consultation with the surgeon and he wanted me to get an MRI and a CT scan to see what kind of condition the joints were in and then we would decide which surgery to go with from there. So I ended up getting approved for the CT scan first, so I went and had that done and then found out afterward that my insurance won't cover anything to do with TMJ. So I was, I'm on the hook 100% for the CT scan and the consultation. And then I also had some other stuff going on in January related to my health. And so all in all, my medical expenses in January were like $5,000. So that's been pretty stressful, uh, obviously. And so I didn't go get the MRI just because I wasn't going to make it like $10,000. So I ended up calling the surgeon's office and telling them what happened and asking them what I should do. And they were saying they can't even appeal it because my insurance just doesn't cover TMJ. But she suggested that I just keep the March 20th appointment and ask the surgeon what to do from here. So that's what I did. And it was stressful waiting. Um, just, you know, I was really worried that they were going to say, yeah, you need surgery. And it's like, well, I guess you're out of luck if your insurance doesn't pay for it because it's not something that I'd be able to afford. So, yeah, it's been it's been a stressful month since I last made a video. So anyway, so then I had the appointment with the surgeon on Monday and my husband sat with me, which is good. And he just opened up right away and showed me the CT scan and he said, so I think I know what's causing all your problems. I think I know like, you know, why you're having pain and why your jaw shifting to the side. And uh, he said, you have a tumor growing in your jaw. And he said, don't freak out. I'm fairly certain it's benign. It's not, it doesn't seem to be malignant and your symptoms don't line up with what it would be like if it was malignant. So that's a bit of a relief. Uh, I was just in shock though, like for the rest of the day, I've never had a tumor or anything like that before. And it just kind of seems like the kind of thing that happens to other people, like not me. So, and I, I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen. Like I've never heard of anyone else having this problem. So it just felt completely, completely from left field. So the plan now is to open up this joint on my right side and remove the tumor and kind of reshape the condyle because uh, that's where the tumor is, it's in the condyle. And uh, he'll take a look at the disc and the ligaments at that time and, and do what he needs to do. So, and then they'll obviously biopsy the, the tumor just to make sure it is benign. So he thinks it's an osteochondroma, which usually happens in longer bones I've been reading, but can sometimes happen in your jaw. Uh, I found some people on the internet that had the same thing, but, uh, and my surgeon said he had seen it a couple times before. So I'm glad that he has some experience with it. And, he seemed pretty confident about treating it and hopeful that that's what is going to be the answer to my problems, which is great because it's not TMJ and my insurance will pay for it. So weird, weird solution to a problem, but I guess I'm not that mad about it. It's just so weird to be like, I have a tumor. So yeah, so that's a um, bit of big shock, but uh, he's hoping to have me in for surgery sometime this spring. He said two to three months, but I haven't gotten a call yet from the hospital to book it. So uh, I don't know yet when that's going to be. And uh, I guess I'll probably update before I have the surgery again. Maybe just, I don't know if I have something to say before then. Maybe not. I don't I don't know yet. But when I do have some more information about the surgery and my plans for next video, I'll drop it in a pinned comment below. So look for that if you're watching this, you know, sometime after March 2023. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to say if you watched my last video, you'll know that I was complaining that people were trying to give me unsolicited medical advice and uh, people were pretty good. I only got one comment that I ended up deleting and it was someone telling me that I should look into palate expansion surgery and I got a couple of those comments on the previous video and it's really funny because if you go back far enough in my channel you'll see vlogs from when I was recovering from palate expansion surgery. So just people just talking out of their butts not even knowing what they're talking about. And uh, I also have some kind words for the people that told me that my tongue posture is what caused all this. So I'll leave it to your imagination what I would like to say to those people, but I just think this is exhibit A, why you should not give strangers medical advice or take medical advice from strangers because you just never know what's going on. Like you couldn't even see the tumor in the x-ray and people on the internet don't know what they're talking about. So don't give people medical advice and don't take medical advice. And that is my little rant for the day. So I don't want to talk for too much longer. I could be here all day, but uh, yeah, look for a comment below for me letting you know when the surgery date's going to be, when I find out. So hopefully I'll find out soon. But yeah, that's where we go from here. Kind of unexpected, but not the worst news. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.